Okay. Um, this thing, whole thing was a setup, a hundred percent a setup, where um, Michelle's mother bragged on uh, Memorial Day weekend, uh, twenty nineteen at the food counter for it's my daughter her husband dates he met her in Ravenna when she was having a stomach stall it's for my daughter they did all this for and our family watching her doing this it is now then August 20 uh, August 10th or 11th of 22 Walmart 62 in Canton by the hair salon I, I walk in they follow me it's funny what's going on we called Will and we explained to him about Michelle. And he said it up. Nobody had ever helped her. And it's funny. They're actually going along with it instead of doing the right thing and help her. I got away from that bitch. It is what's going on. It's a setup. Now, it is a setup. It was set up that no one would ever help me. And let me and my middle son and his family die. Mm -hmm. And it's a setup for them. They corrupted Will. Now, realizing all the attempts on my life was my ex in his churches. And where he had said his new girlfriend family owned the place up there. Um, I called, I thought, what to do, and then I thought, well, I'll call the FBI. Well, I googled the FBI, and I got the 1-800 number. I was on the phone with them for about 45 minutes. Okay? We, no, I was waking up with bruises before that. I had hand marks in bed in my arm bigger than mine. I had giant <sighs> bruises size of orange and grapefruits. I had a cut. They said they were even beating confessions out under amnesia drugs. They were drugging me up before and then beating confessions out. Uh, people were saying that's why I was so banged up. They then said that Weird Steve, they're wanted for stalking, that he was actually breaking in and raping me too. My ex-husband and I made love all the time. And... So, if he broke in and raped me, where I woke up with bruises, I had already been with Dave. I wouldn't know somebody took advantage of me. And I had weird dreams. Weird dreams that I told my stepmother about. I would have dreams of being in a fog, a haze. And a man would walk across the room, would lay down next to me, wrap his arms around me. I'd roll over, and I felt safe in his arms for a second. I couldn't see his face for the haze. And then the room would go blank. She's like, well, Karen, Scott's showing you your future. You're going to be happy and feel safe one day. It was that Steve raping me. Under amnesia. When I told her that that's what they're saying was happening, she's like, oh my God, tell on them and stay out of it. Let them handle this. The dirty freak, he's already wanted by the Maslin police for stalking me. Okay, now getting back to Will. Now I call the 1 800 line. Now I start talking to him, okay? I tell them um, about there was a tough to break him at Lennox. My ex made a mistake with the Perry police. He had, they said it made no sense that why did they go through the basement? They knew where the security system was. The officer was all over them. They're part of it. They're individually set up. They are. Okay. And the cop knew he was part of it all over. And he kept putting himself in the middle of it. I thought he was speaking. He wasn't. 
I told him about that. That officer already noted it, that he knew he was part of it. Okay. Time to break it. And then I told him a few months later that I was followed on rent. Um, and it was Harold, uh, Str or Jack Strange, which is Harold Strange's brother, uh, his granddaughter's Facebook friend. And I could link it back to that church. And I didn't know I had a 25 grand head on my life. And the officer said if they knew that they were up to something. And if I wouldn't have had my foot on the brake, he would have rolled me. He couldn't let me go home alone. There was a direct attempt on my life made to go home. Come home that day. Because he couldn't let me go home alone. He knew that guy was up to something. Okay? I told the hotline now. I told him, I said, uh, that church is leaving for us on, in the mall with um, this one girl, Sarah, at Kate, uh, at Jewelers. She said, well, how does she know? And I said, well, Katie works at this other jewelry store. Well, how does she know Katie? I said, well, her old manager went to work with her with this other girl that she's a co-worker. They all go out to eat and stuff, and they all talk. And they have all heard her say that her church has a plan to kill me. Okay? And, um, so... She already had my witness, okay? That that church already was leaving threats with those other three people. With, with Sarah and then those other two women, okay? That they were planning on killing me. And I said they've been living in threats in the mall on my life. And they've been going out to eat and they've been leaving it with them. And I guess others, I'm not for sure. I said, but those three women know of it. That their her church has a plan to kill me. I said, and we're. Um, I said I went up, and I had went for this job. This lady crossed me this job. Um, I was talking to this one girl. I said we were friends for years, and um, I we were on the phone and she was saying this lady was picking up her kid and she was paying her ten dollars an hour I thought he was cheating and how stupid was I I um I said she had me on the counter on speaker and she had asked me down to prayer and said she'd step in and stuff and I said, she, I can hear her knocking. She's like, I'll let you go. And I said, I didn't hang up because I wanted to find out if that was his girlfriend. And I said, I heard, guess, what, guess who I was on the phone with? You're kidding. I almost tricked her into coming down to prayer where those two guys would show up and take care of her. You know, they'd be people to know where she's at. I could have used some money. I actually told her I'd step in for prayer for as if I couldn't believe it came out of my mouth. And the other girl's like, well, that's about as bad as Kaylee. Uh, she charged, she said Keith charged too much money um, uh, for uh, ha uh, having uh, to marry them because of oh, their wedding. And, uh, well, you know who was in the meeting to hire those two men to kill her? It was, uh, Keith Bishop, Strange, and Ron. And they took up 25000 to have her murdered. Because Ron wants her dead because she got well the year his kid died. I said, I did get well the year Ron's kid died. But, and I explained to him about Phil Miller, um, had Ron's uh, son Tyler they went to a church baseball game they were on a late and a semi had him when they were in a stop sign I said I was have been sick for years and months later I got well and nothing to do with anything 
But Ron lost it at that funeral screaming and they had to carry him out. He's gone mentally for you for, for a long time. And um and months later I got well, nothing to do with nothing. But Strange told everybody I was faking, I was sick and faking it well to hurt him while I was grieving. I said he was telling me a few months later. Just even a few months ago. I said I have documents I was sick. I said he just tells people stuff like that to turn people on. Him. I said I actually can prove I was sick. And or something like that. And I said, but he's still telling it a few months ago. From fifteen years ago. Lying to people. And um to manipulate them. Um and then what else did I tell her? I mean, I, I told her. So now I got three witnesses that they can verify that church is going to kill me. Two police reports of attempts on my life. Okay. I told her about a stalker showing up. The water stream. Okay. I told her about Dave holding me down. I love you, but I love her more. I'm so sorry you have to die for her. I hired a man to slit your throat, stab you in the heart, to bleed out. And then he did it for 30 minutes. And um, he had had a man to shoot me from around. I said he's trying to claim it was a vivid dream. But he did it for 30 minutes. He was very much awake. It was turning him on. I don't know if I said the turning on thing or not. I said, but he was very much awake. He was kissing me, squeezing me, right in his head and face, his beard and my body. I said, I kept watching the clock as a freak. He killed me with his own bare hands. Um, I told her, I mean, I had tears. I said, how stupid was I? Not realizing those attempts on my life were him and them. Okay. And I don't even know if I told her about the attempt at kidnapping. Okay. And the attempt at carjacking. But I know I at least told them of those two. Okay. Alright. She's and we talked for about forty five minutes. And I'm crying like crazy because I still loopy from where they've been dragging me up. She's like, I'm going to have an agent call you back. Okay. Well, I had, they had dragged me up so bad. I couldn't get out of bed like baby girl feet. Okay. That's not me. I was, um, I remember... Waking up to the phone ring. I had cried before I fell asleep. And I thought, who's that? And then I seen they left a voicemail. I listen, this is Agent Will. I'm with the cat or I'm with the FBI, I need you to call me back. It's important you call me back right away or something like that. My phone number's da da da. And I remember going. And just crawling over and going to sleep. And getting up when Dave brought home and having dinner and going back to sleep. And the same thing the next day. Now, they can verify with the Perry plea that it was a subject putting himself in the middle of an attempt to break in. Their church is directly connected to a direct attempt on my life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As, to someone that was associated with it by following them around to me. Right? Now they're saying straight out they're going to kill me in a mall with witnesses. Now I disappear. 
for today. Yeah, right. They didn't come look for me. And I told her about the stalker showing up at Water Shangri. Okay? And staring at me. Okay? Now, you don't tell me that when I didn't call that agent back for a couple days, that they didn't come up there and look for me. Called to kill people. And when they're blatant enough that they're going to tell you flat out they're going to kill you and tell people that. And then the stupid ex-husband puts himself in the middle of attempt to break in. Okay? And then they're uh, with a following him around him. Okay? And they're connected back to the person who did it. And now they're standing there we're going to try to kill you. You don't tell me they were going to come look for me. But I didn't call them back. Thinking where the hell happened at this point. Yeah, right, they didn't come look. Because mm -hmm. I disappeared for about two and a half days. Being drugged. on the third day I got up and I was so loopy. I was like I was drunk like I gotta handle it. what am I gonna do and I couldn't think it was like I was drunk went out and sat on the front porch trying to get air in my face it's like well maybe if I mow the lawn I just got I think I gotta clear my head. Start mowing the lawn. It's like, how am I gonna do I got to thinking, Sarah. Sarah's heard all this. Called her. I'm like, Sarah, were you with this for me? Okay? Of course, Sarah. I'm scared for you. It's getting darker and scarier the way she talks to her. My, so I got off the phone with her. I went out and bought her car. Put Will's phone number in. We went out <clears throat> to the mall or church that night. Or she had left. Put Will's number. Okay. I, I had put Will's number. Her manager put it in a locker. Go up to Apostolic Church of Burlington. Wallpaper gets in Dave's face. My God, I had an FBI agent in my office. He's right there. I walk off. Dave comes in. Let's go. He gets in the truck. You call the FBI on me? I'm like, what would you expect? With you threatening life and these other people. Okay. I had to take care of myself. He starts swinging at me in the truck and I'm holding on the door. Well, I reach over and try to put my hand where he's got a loaded gun. He knocks it off. He's swinging at me tomorrow. And he's threatening my life. I'm literally holding on the door knob. And he's going 60 miles an hour and I was ready to jump out of the, the truck he was literally swinging at me okay until I had my body plastered against the door I was scared to death trying to get away from him even when we got home next morning there's no turning back I'm crying my head is spinning again okay and there was men on the other side of the duplex. I had a copy of my phone. And they were outside mocking me. I was keeping notes under me where that guy showed up at Giant Eagle by Huntington Bank and threatened to knife me. Realized he was attempted kidnapping, tempted carjacking. Came up and threatened to knife me. And the Pizza Hut lady got paid to watch. Okay. Um, and then they both walk off. Okay. Walks out around me and she walks off. Okay. Um, <clears throat> well, I was keeping notes under me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, da, 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 da. Well, the, I threw the word ESA up in there. And some other random. But you know, just cross the office straight across. Just cross my office. So I'll go jibber down. Take a year old to figure it out. 
They're marketing. What's they sell? It's a child's book. It's like, what the fuck is that name? Mm, there's a whole bunch of other people. Okay. They didn't know what it was. They had a copy of my book. I forgot to tell them all about it. And the hotline came. I never had a state one. With the mission of these people being there for Dave's girlfriend. And it was Dave's girlfriend's family. Now the guy that went to Pima was, I lived at 4490 John Thompson Road, Ravenna, 10.6 miles out of town. Okay. There was a duplex after mine, old lady on one side, group of men on the other. He was seen in the picture window. He may be on the lease, if not the people that run it September of 2018 know who he is. He's a spent image of Judge Timothy Ludwig. He could be as kid as that close. But he may, he may just be a neighbor or drug dealer from New York. Okay? I forgot to tell her that. This whole thing was a stunt. An absolute stunt for them to get away with this. Okay? There was never staying quiet. They corrupted well. Yeah, right, they didn't come looking for me. See, why would Will ask for a witness? You can't tell me where I talked to the hotline. I talked to that lady for about 45 minutes. <clears throat> and she wanted me to explain everything. Okay. I called the hotline. I didn't just call like, the candles off. I wouldn't call the candles. Because I wouldn't know who to call. I lived in Moravan. The 1 800 number sang me to. And they took their time to talk to me. The 1 800 number. And putting everything together. Well, how would Sarah know Katie? Her manager went to work with her old manager. Uh huh. And one of her co workers, they all go out to eat. And she's food breaking. See, I. You're yeah, right, they didn't come up with her. They disappeared for a couple days. Yeah, right. And you're yeah, right, they didn't know they had my house work for Michelle. Yeah, right. They didn't know they were photoshopping the shower scene. Yeah, right. They didn't know they were drugging me up so I couldn't get out of bed to call them back and drugging confessions out. And yeah, right. They didn't know that man went to pay my person in them. Yeah, right. We're going to come down to that. Yeah, right. Because it's going to come down to why did Will Asked for a witness. I already gave it to the hotline. Or where he could get through. And cover. And to cover his ass. So he wouldn't look guilty. Listen to me inform it. Okay. Open the state case. Had a cop go to the day. and agencies can only be in a home under a threat of law. It has to be registered in the state with your recorded statement asking for help them agreeing to protect you and the other person being spoke to of knowing the threat of life is the Fourth Amendment. So you can throw the Fifth Amendment, Sixth, Seventh, of the right to privacy, the right to remain quiet, the right to a legal representation, the right to a fair court trial, bail and bond special protector like cases set up correctly where they go to jail. Okay. So yeah, right, they didn't come look for me when I disappeared. Because I couldn't get out of bed. Artie told the hotline about Sarah and her co her manager and that co-worker. 
of Katie breaking her church was going to kill me. And that guy following her to me, being linked right back to the, that church. And Dave doing that thing with the Perry police. And they knew he was part of that attempt to break him within a few months before that. And that there was two attempts on my life right there. Because I don't think I, I can't remember because I'm still crying so bad. I told him about the attempt of a kidnapping and the attempt at carjacking. I did tell him about the what a shame guy, and I don't know if I remember if I told him about the threat and knife me and the lady getting me to watch me. I told you I got a lot of shit out, and I, 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 I think I did tell him I, he got caught. He actually got caught with plot in the system, and that's when I thought he hired someone. <coughs> okay, and he was bragging that I went me around at Christmas. I think I may have told him that too, but I know I told him about Sarah and the manager. So why would he ask for a witness when it was already documented I told him? And you're right, they didn't come looking for me when there was two police reports of attempt. And it could be linked back to Dave already being notated that they knew it was part of one and his church being linked back, and now those church being saying they're gonna kill him. And three witnesses. And then all of a sudden I said, I'm not around. Yeah, right, they didn't come looking for me. And then why would he ask me to, for a witness? I already gave him to the hallway. See what I mean? It wasn't that. I realized that today. It really was a setup. And you know how stupid the Hillsendale FBI building is? I mean, they're like fucking stupid. Fucking fucking stupid. I go in, it's a sealed building. They have to buzz you in. Fucking stupid. Okay, I go in, and there's people, ladies in the hallway talking about the case. Okay? And they act like inside that office, they don't know about the case. It's like, talk to the people in the hallway. I swear those people have their head up their ass. I hate stupid. I hate stupid. Okay, the next day, well, Willis me and Palmer gave me all these promises. I never had a steak away. Yeah, right, they didn't know about my show. Yeah, right, they didn't go up there and look around. Yeah, right, they didn't know they were stalking me on their own. Yeah, right, they didn't know they were drugging me up and they photoshopped that shower scene. Yeah, right, they didn't know the FBI. Yeah, right, they didn't know. Yeah, right. I'm going to play the protector light cars. Yeah, right, they didn't know. Yeah, right. Because they had me so dropped up, I couldn't get on that. Yeah, right, they didn't know. Yeah, right, they didn't know. Like the security guard said, December 9, 21, at the Stark County Hunger Task Force, just serving food that day, he actually worked his case. We always knew the tapes before with them, not her, so we never said a word. They were photoshopped and drugged. He told to edit the uh, Hunger Task uh, Oakland apartment. And he, they both went to the camp and police and investigators that everything was photoshopped and drugged. So, yeah, right. When I called that hotline and I had a police report, and they could link it back to that church and Dave. And it's notated that that cop already knew Dave was part of that attempt at break-in. And that one guy could be linked right back to that church. And now that church is saying they're going to kill me? Mm-hmm. 
flat out in the mall to more than up to three witnesses? Yeah. Yeah, right, when I didn't call them back in three days, that they didn't come looking for me. Yeah, right, they didn't find out that my house was bugged. Because they would have had to set up their own cameras. Hello? And they wouldn't have found their software? Get an idea? Yeah, right, they wouldn't have found out Dave was dating a retired judge. Yeah, daughter, Michelle, and that they were doing it. That would exclude the whole county from anything against me. They go to jail for it. Hmm? Conflict of interest, 1 to 10. Every civil right broke, 1 to 10. Hmm? Yeah. Right. Because they had to go out and set up their own cameras. Mm -hmm. And that they weren't stalking me in my home. And yeah, right, they didn't know they were photoshopping me and drugging me up. Yeah, right. It was a setup, like Michelle's mother said. They explained it all about Michelle. They find out. A Portage County Sheriff, Judge Pete, or anybody called Will, before I call Will back. And they, anybody talk to him. It's top secret. Mm-hmm. Those people in the hallway, outside the office, you called your sister, that's why nobody helped you. Well, have you actually listened to what I said? She's like, Karen, you called the FBI on those searches for threatening your life. Well, everybody knew they were threatening my life. I'm like, Pam, these people are crazy. They got a copy of my phone and they're mocking me. One sorry, you told me. I have to get a prepaid phone and call you at work. Is this crazy? She's like, what? I said, never mind. Stay all this. I got him. Okay. What did I just say? I told her last year, in 21. I said, you know, I did call the FBI on day when? 2018. I never realized that. No, she did. You know what I did do, though? <clears throat> About a year and a half ago, I went up to, uh, now my car's bugged from the case. <clears throat> and I know the police can hear me, and these idiots stole the login. Okay? I went upside the Ravenna Courthouse. The nice officer that works at the stand he has gray hair, mustache, uh, and dandruff. I usually have, if I say something, I walk in. And that way I'm not seen talking to the police being an informant. He'll look at me and he'll repeat it and he'll say, Hi, sweetie. I'll have the boys look into that. Okay? And he'll smile. Okay? I was looking at him and smile. No, I don't have to talk to him. Let's talk to him without talking to him. It's complicated. It's neat. I mean, I can just say something on my car. I'm just come in and I'll just acknowledge it. Okay? Well, I did it on purpose. Now they protect the light guys, usually in the bar across from the courthouse. I call my sister Pam. And I start my whole steam. I get done. One of the protective light guys out that bar. They look at me in the face. They look at the other guy. Where's that idiot over the house? No. I go in, and that night, where that officer is in sheer panic. Sheer panic. Like this. I said, can I talk to Judge Timothy Lewis? Well, he was in court. I went to leave. He's like, you can't leave. I said, I gotta go. You can't go. I said, I gotta go. You're not, you can't go. I said, I gotta go. He said, you can't go. I can't let you leave. And you gotta talk to somebody. And I said, I can't. And he's like, you can't leave. And he's like in sheer panic. And he said, I'm gonna get the lady officers to come up. 
and they took me down to Abigail Watkins, Portage County Prosecutor, victim advocate. Lady officers were down there, okay? For the state case, a man came in with a little quarter-inch file, half inch top. I'm here for care around the house. That's what officers in uniform call it. Lady officers walk off while I talk to Abigail. And she said, I see all your notes. And I start telling her about different things. And she said, I want you to go make a report at the Portage County Sheriff. The lady officer comes back and she walks me out. She's like, you run around. You tell everybody you know what happened to you. You hold the FBI accountable. People who got away with way too much. We go make a report at the Portage County Sheriff. Okay. They did nothing with the case. Because Dave Dates Buckley are retired. Georgia's daughter, 5'7, 5'10, 300 pounds, fat and ugly. And they kept saying, she's too ugly for another man, we have to do this. I thought, Shut up, I'm not that ugly. They won't talk about me. That was my show. I seen her the other day. The fat girl that kept coming up and telling me she was sleeping with Dick. So like, shoot. I'm walking off from the stupid bitch. It's her. And they were so excited that some idiot won her. They did all this shit. They broke in my door within a few days of a meteor. And then thought they could date rape, drug me, photoshop a shower stain, and come up and tell me they, they did it, and that I'd go off to jail when they're funky jail and they'd take me off somewhere and tell me, I'm not that stupid. Say, hey, we ain't going to watch you because Dave Date's fucking ugly. We photoshopped a shower stain in another room. I heard about it. We date rape drugged you and lied. We had sodium pentothal reports. Now we're going to have an op one of our crooked officers arrest you and then take you out somewhere and kill you. I ain't that stupid. I ain't going with them. Okay. And neither are the local police to look at their shit. For them to have tapes inside a house, it has to be a special protective light case. It has to be registered through the state, recorded with, you're asking for help, okay? They have to agree to protect you, and the other person has to be recorded as knowing of the threat on your life for the men. And it has to be registered with a special protective light case, because it goes along with the fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth also. So where they run around lying, saying they had a court order. It's a flat out lie, like they said, they made everything up. June of 19, the main cop that went to Dave was in the back of Liberty House here. The worst thing he ever did wrong, honey, is bend over him properly. Then, um, in front of him, he made a mistake on the phone. He made up a case to watch her before, that's funny. They went to her before, that's funny. She must really like him. It's me now. That's why under Portage County Courthouse records is only my divorce. It's just them doing this to me with some dark dealer. They made everything up. But we'll open the state case. With the state case, everybody's being followed around. My ex daughter in law, Melissa. Caught with friends with fucking ugly. And telling the kids to make up all these mean games of pretend and asking the police to verify it. They're documenting mean games of pretend. Laughing because they want fucking ugly to get the house. And they're making everything up to four. And everybody else speaks highly of me while they're laughing and giggling. Thanksgiving of 18. And yeah, right, they didn't know they lied. The police, they asked them, please tell everybody I'm innocent. And they're documenting me in games of pretend. It's actually documented in the case. Okay, the day after I called Will, I told you. I called my daughter-in-law. Someone breaks in while I'm talking to her and I get off the phone. Okay? told you I call 
I told you I called my sister and what had happened. So, did I ever have to stay quiet? Yeah, right. They, the FBI did not know that Dave was dating retired Judge Pete's daughter. Yeah, right. They didn't know when they were going to go out and set up their own surveillance that they didn't find those people's tiny cameras and were stalking me. Yeah, right. They didn't find out that they were date rape drugging me. Yeah, right. They didn't find out they were photoshopping scenes and drugging them and adding them and they couldn't look at them. Yeah, right. Because like the guy at the Hunger Task Force, December 9, 21, white man ball with dark eyes. For we always knew the tapes before were them, not her. So we have never said a word. Mm -hmm. Like they told Ed at the Oakland apartment, maintenance man, December 9, 21, all the tapes before were them, not her. And it's just a bunch of men doing crime down here, see if someone will stop them. Like I said, I have so many witnesses of knowing that they lied, police department, state case. <clears throat> and they're documenting me games up for them. And then I was drugged and told to say it. It's a Photoshop shower scene. And yeah, right. The FBI, when they went up there to set up their cameras for the state case, they didn't find their illegal surroundings. Yeah, right. They didn't find the drug dog. Yeah, right. They didn't find it. Dave dating retired George Pete's daughter. And them doing all this shit. Why didn't Will just say this is crazy? I'll just put her in a witness protection program. You can have everything. Huh? Or just arrest him and do his damn job. Like they said, they corrupted him. The whole thing was to set up for me and my son's family to die for that fucking bitch. Oh, I'm not in trouble. And if you think that Stark County sheriffs would look at their shit, it costs them their badge. Two retired sheriffs I talked to, how stupid are these people? It is a special protective life cases. Officer Reinhardt, mass on home. Nothing they have is admissible. It's illegal to be in somebody's home, no matter what. And it would be illegal to look or listen. Your homes and places are to be safe and secure. It's a special protect the life cases. The FBI knows they would never be able to look or listen. And like my special protect the life guys, they're outside of Verizon. This is why you're not allowed to work a case with a conflict of interest. So you can't admit to framing people, admit it a shower scene, admit you drugged and told me to say stuff. I have like the stupidest criminals around me.